Well, what's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid Town Doors. Um, moving the normal video I was going to put out this week to next week. Um, don't know if you've been following on the news um, what's happened here in Middle Tennessee over the weekend. Um, west of Nashville got hit pretty hard. Um, Two counties, or three counties got hit really hard. Um, you got Dixon County, Hickman County, Houston County, and Humphreys County. Actually, it's four. A uh, good buddy of mine lives in Dixon. Uh, lives outside of Dixon, actually, in Dixon County. They were okay. They're not bothered by it. Um, but um, there's a lot of people that are. Right now, what happened was I got up Saturday morning um, noticed a bunch of news flashes on my uh, um, phone and I was like what is going on I got to look and I knew we were supposed to have rain off to the west um, Saturday morning and I didn't realize how bad it was going to be now in 2010 when the floods hit Nashville uh, they got hit pretty bad too now I'm going to throw up some pictures here in a minute as I talk. Um, they got hit pretty good, bad too. Now, at that point, we got a little over, I think it was 11 and a half inches, something like that, during the floods of 2010. This past weekend, this, these poor towns got hit. There was one measurement of 17 inches of rain in 12 hours. Right now, there's 22 dead, dozens missing. In one count, I know Sunday they were saying there was 50 people missing. They dwindled that list down because they made it public on social media, and people were saying, "Hey, wait a minute, this person's you know alive. This person's fine." But um, they said, you know, the aftermath looks like an EF4 or 5 tornado come through and just knock things off the foundations. Um, it's incredible what they've gone through um, as you'll see in some of the pictures I'm posting them as I'm talking um, I, I, I just I feel for these people I really do uh, I just I couldn't imagine it I mean this is twice in 11 years your towns have been hit flooded out and people lost people missing property lost of course property you know houses and cars and stuff can be re can be rebuilt lives cannot um, but like I said right now they're they're at 22 dead in this situation horrible situation um, what I'm gonna ask or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some links down below for like the Red Cross that kind of thing and I ask you to if you can donate if you can't i understand i get it but uh there's some hurting people out there right now that are missing loved ones that are their lives are just totally washed away in this but like i said you'll see from the pictures as i keep talking it's just it's bad it's really bad it's one of the worst i've seen in a while it's worse since 2010 floods that hit us i know there's other people out there in the world that are you know suffering and having problems but uh this was this was pretty bad like i said i when i got up saturday morning and started seeing all the news reports that were popping up and the rain wasn't done the rain wasn't done when i first started seeing this and i pulled up the radar i was watching the radar and you can just see this training i'll see if i can find a picture of the radar and it was just water was just train the rains were just training over this one area for hours 12 hours so anyways guys um Keep this part of Middle Tennessee in your thoughts and prayers or whatever you do, you know, just keep keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Um, it's a sad thing. I know there's some other YouTubers that have posted some stuff from Tennessee about this. Um, I'm just very fortunate. We're very glad. Like I said, I've got a good friend of mine that lives in Dixon. Their house sits up on a hill. Um, it had to be really bad to get to his house and just kind of like our house we set up kind of up on a hill so it had to be really bad to get us 2010 floods are 
retainage pond was overflowing, but it was nowhere near the house when that happened. But anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to bring that to you. Um, weather's always been a thing of mine, uh, interest of mine. But these, these people are hurting. These people are suffering. If you can find it in your heart to give a little bit to them, please do. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, there's, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, it's one town that they've got so many missing in. It's a population of 19,000. And um, I forgot how many structures. I think I saw one report over 200 structures destroyed. Not just messed up a little bit, destroyed. Over 200 structures. So, yeah, it's it's bad. It's really bad. So keep these, guys, these people in your thoughts and prayers and um, whatever else you may do, whatever you subscribe to. I appreciate it. And um, we'll see you next week. Be prepared.